Thank you, Travis Bertholdt, for challenging us to cook the popular Caribbean Latin American chicken dish called the Poya Gazada. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Before we begin, let's explore the history of the Poya Gazada. The dish's roots can be traced back to the influence of Spanish colonialism in the Caribbean, which influenced the various ingredients and cooking techniques in the areas they colonized, including the Americas and other Caribbean countries like Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Cuba. Over time, as Spanish settlers interacted with the local population and exchanged culinary practices, the dish evolved to incorporate native herbs and spices and cooking methods. The recipe for Poya Gazada varies from region to region and even household to household, but the essence of the dish remains the same. For our Poya Gazada, we've got tender chicken pieces seasoned with a blend of traditional spices and local vegetables. All we need now is to find adobo, sazon, and sofrito seasoning. We don't find these in South Africa, so we're going to have to make them ourselves. You can make your own adobo seasoning by combining equal parts of paprika, garlic powder, oregano, onion powder, and black pepper. Alternatively, look for a South African spice blend that has similar flavors, such as a peri-peri seasoning mix. Sazon seasoning typically contains a combination of spices like coriander, cumin, garlic powder, and anato. Anato is an orange-red condiment and food coloring derived from the seeds of the achiote tree, native to tropical parts of the Americas. You can substitute this by combining equal parts of sweet paprika and turmeric. To make the Sazon seasoning, we're going to mix our substitute anato seasoning with ground coriander, ground cumin, garlic powder, sweet paprika, and a pinch of turmeric. Sofrito is a base seasoning used in Latin American and Spanish cooking. For a South African substitute, we could mix finely chopped onions, garlic, bell peppers, and tomatoes. Let's get on to the main dish. Putting a little bit of extra olive oil there. Garlic. The shaman garlic and the sofrito. I'm 
doing is I just like to caramelize the um, onions and that a little bit. So just giving them a bit on their own with their own heat. Now it's going to add the chicken all back in. Brown earlier on. This is smelling delicious already. We have um, de-picked the olives, so these are not whole olives. Good, smelling delicious. Really looking forward to try this. We normally try and cook for longer in a poiki, traditional poiki, just because of the infusion of the flavors. Uh, the longer it stands and the longer it cooks, the, the better. So we've got it at a nice heat now, simmering away. Just keep an eye that it doesn't dry out. So we've got sufficient liquid in there. We put a decent amount of liquid in at the start and uh, now it's looking good, smelling delicious. So here we have our bright bread and a roaster cook. It's something very uh, traditional in South Africa. Absolutely delicious. Uh, just a bread dough cooked on the fire at a low heat. And you'll see when it starts. That's looking great. That's looking like a good brown bread. And then over here is our pollo gazado, and uh, it's really looking absolutely mouth watering. You definitely have to come visit your country sometime and experience more of your food. This is absolutely stunning. Cheers.